I was told in chat on a recent video by a viewer who believes that he's a real man that anyone who has to date a Filipina is not a real man or to use a more common word these days a simp whatever that really means. My reply was something along the lines of well at least I'm a happy simp. There are certainly some people who somehow deem a Filipina as less of a person than women from most other countries. And in this video, I'm going to examine what drives guys like this to make such outlandish comments. So be sure to stay with me here. Just quickly, if you're looking to date a Filipina and are not sure where to start, then why not check out my affiliate link in the pinned comment to the Philippines' number one dating site where it's free to create an account. Now before we get into the topic at hand, I'd like to know what you think about the comment that dating and marrying a Filipina is not for real men. Have you heard someone say this before? Perhaps on YouTube or maybe even to your face? I do believe that this is a stereotype that is rife in many communities and countries around the world, as well as right here on YouTube, mostly in the comments sections. And I certainly have noticed that when guys say these things in comments on YouTube, that most of them have anonymous accounts. That is, YouTube accounts that have no real picture of the person and no real activity on that account. So clearly, they use that account to hide away like a tough keyboard warrior. While some of these guys may believe this statement to be true, I feel many more are just simply trolls who come to channels like this one and in this genre simply to cause upset and cause trouble. Now, I've seen it all on this YouTube channel and that's why I heavily moderate the channel. And yes, I do see this on a daily basis. Simply, most of these comments will never see the light of day on this channel and those trolls certainly aren't welcome here. And I have no doubt that many of these people or trolls have never even dated or married a Filipina themselves. Or as I always hear, they only knew of someone who did. When I hear that, I have a bit of a laugh to myself, as these guys make a statement like it's absolute fact. And yet, they have no real experience around this. Then I think... What drives such people to such childish statements and behaviours? Perhaps they're just some teenagers having what they think is fun or doing something they think is funny. But my overall sense is that the majority are actually adults who may have rather sad lives and possibly had some bad experiences in life where they feel they've been unfairly treated. And as such, they want others to feel the same way as they do and can't stand the fact that other people actually have happy lives and fantastic relationships. Especially for some reason when it comes to a foreign guy and a Filipina relationship. These sorts of trolls, they have a certain mindset where everything is negative and this includes when they see a Filipina who was born and raised in the Philippines which is a developing country, date or marry a foreign guy. They automatically have that negative mindset where that woman from a poor country is only with the man from a more wealthy country for his money. Their minds have become so distorted that they no longer have the capacity to consider any other options as to why that couple may have got together. And there are a multitude of possibilities as to why that may be. For these guys, I truly feel sorry for them, as it must be such a miserable way to live a life. And imagine getting to the end of your life only to never have experienced true happiness in a relationship or in one's life in general. Having such a channel on YouTube for the past couple of years, where I predominantly speak about and give information and tips around foreign guys having a relationship with a Filipina. I've heard so many very wonderful stories from such guys who have dated and married a Filipina and that has changed their lives for the better in ways that some people may never understand or even want to understand. 
And as I've said in other previous videos, these good stories just aren't as interesting, entertaining or dramatic as the horror relationship stories between a foreign guy and a Filipina. But mark my words here, the good relationships certainly far outweigh the bad. So never be put off by the trolls or people with such a distorted view of life or Filipinas. I've been fortunate myself to have experienced and continue to experience how amazing such a relationship can be and I'm sure this will continue for many years to come. And I'd really love for you guys who have experienced such a relationship to flood the comments with your positive experiences around dating or being married to a Filipina as this will really start to dispel such outrageous notions and people's ways of thinking around demonizing or degrading Filipinas simply because of the country they live in is not a wealthy country. It's my sincere hope in creating content on this channel is to create a community of like-minded people all striving to achieve a wonderful and rewarding relationship with a beautiful Filipina. And I do believe as we move forward, this is certainly happening and by our many community members sharing their valuable information in the comments on each video, it creates a wealth of such valuable and important information which ultimately will help others to achieve an amazing relationship. So you can be very sure that it does take a real man to step up and treat a woman well and to commit fully to making a relationship work especially a long-distance relationship. Never be put off by macho men who will tell you that you're a simp or those that, as I say, have a distorted view of everything because they're unhappy with their lot in life. And I highly doubt that these guys even really know what a simp actually means. It really seems to be more of a trendy word or a catchphrase or even a more polite way to insult a person. But a quick Google search reveals the meaning of the word simp as follows. A simp is a slang insult for men who are seen as too attentive and submissive to women. So when many of these guys see a man who is caring, respectful, thoughtful and loving to his girlfriend or wife, these guys will say that a man who does this is not a real man. They see a real man as one who controls the woman and that the woman will wait on the man hand and foot. It really sounds more like the old caveman days to me. And you know, these guys who actually believe that's how a woman should be treated are the ones who never achieve any sort of successful long-term relationship and I suspect a large number of them are extremely controlling of their partners whom... I feel very sorry for. So simply set out a plan that will make you happy and forge that strong relationship that others can and will be truly envious of. And know that all the knockers or trolls can have the sad life that they've created for themselves. I certainly know which I'd rather have. What about you? And at the end of the day, you can be very sure that none of this is rocket science. And really, it's a total no-brainer. If you'd like more valuable information and tips to really creating a special life with a Filipina, then be sure to check out the playlist on screen now. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.